concept of time value of money if you ask if i ask your question what would you rather have rupees 10000 today or rupees 10000 in 5 years what would you choose out of these two options what would you choose 10000 today or 10000 in 5 years today and why today why not after 5 years because of inflation the buying power of this 10000 today would be higher than what it would be in future because of inflation the buying power of money keeps on reducing so i would rather have it today if i have 10000 rupees today i can invest it at some place to make it more than 10000 there is a risk of credit when it comes to 10000 after 5 years after 5 years i might not have the ability or willingness to pay you 10000 and the last reason why you should say that 10000 today is more valuable than in future is because if you get this 10000 today you can fulfill your needs of the, from this money today we human beings want to fulfill our needs now and we don't want to postpone our needs for future and that is the reason why 10000 today is more valuable than 10000 in future now this property of money this property of money by which its value changes with time is called time is called time value of money so 10000 and 10000 after 5 years the amount is the same but i am saying 10000 today is more dear more valuable than 10000 after 5 years that means money value depends on time so money how much is an important question but money when is also very important and money when is basically time value of money money received sooner rather than later allows one to use funds for investment or consumption purpose this concept is called as time value of money so these are the four reasons which we have just discussed why money today is more valuable than money in future first and most obvious reason is present of presence of positive rates of inflation will reduce the purchasing power of rupee through time a rupee today is worth more than future because of the opportunity cost of lost earnings that it that is it could have been invested and earned a return between today and point of time in future thirdly all future values are in some sense only promises and contain some uncertainty about their occurrence as a result of risk of default or non performance of an investment a rupee in hand today is worth more than an expected rupee in future and last is finally human preferences typically involve impatience or the preference to consume goods and service now rather than in future